Hey there everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to be able to control where the bottom of your swing is. So for those of you that hit a little bit behind it, or you tend to thin a little bit, this is gonna be a great drill for you to address this while you're stuck at home. Hey there everyone, Wes Alt is back here again, and this is all you're gonna need for this drill. Uh, all you need to get is basically a towel, and you'll also need uh, some Dr. Scholl's or some foot spray powder. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna just mark two lines down here. And I like to put a ball kind of outside of this just so I can have like a visual reference of where my ball posi position is gonna be. So how you're gonna set this up, you're gonna go ahead and get in your um, good golf setup. And what I'm gonna have you do is place the club head in between these two lines where I have this ball. And the goal of the drill is, is to make little swings back and through, and your goal is to hit this front line or anywhere just in front of the line. This is gonna help with you players out there that tend to hit a little bit behind it. You know how frustrating that gets when you take a full cut at it, you hit this far behind the ball and the ball goes two feet in front of you. So this is just a great drill, especially since we're uh, at home, can't get out to the range, this is a good way to start. So go ahead and get in your setup. And so you can get the feel of what it's like to get your weight all the way onto the front foot at impact, I'm gonna go ahead and suggest get in your impact position and then just make a small back swing to about club parallel to the ground. And then as you swing through, I want you to kind of hit the, uh, the towel and finish with about the club shaft parallel on the way through. So it's a little just chippy swings just to get the feel of it. I'm gonna keep that weight on my front foot, work my left shoulder down and hit. So you can see there, had a little bit of the Dr. Scholl's kind of do a little puff of smoke on this side. If I were to go the opposite way and go back, you're gonna see how the towel will automatically kind of be like, hey, you hit a little bit behind it because this side of the towel will be all scrunched up. So this is just a great little feedback device you guys can use. Um, I would just spend five to 10 minutes a day just kind of working on this. And as you get better with it, go ahead and start taking the club a little bit further back and through and this will help you improve your ball spike, uh, ball striking while you're cooped up at home.